Okay, welcome back. Uh, we'll be solving this problem. I don't know if you can read it, but basically it says that when a man returns to his well-sealed house on a summer day, he finds that the house is at 35 degrees Celsius, which is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it's too hot in the house, so he turns the air condition to call it to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. It takes about 30 minutes to achieve that. If you know that the coefficient of performance of the air conditioning is 2.8, actually, if you go to your house, it should be a sticker on the air conditioning machine that should tell you what is the coefficient of performance. In this case, it's 2.8. They ask us to determine what is the amount of power needed, how much electrical power you need uh, to consume in order to achieve the temperature decrease. So basically here they ask you to assume the entire mass in the house, mass of air within the house to be equivalent to 800 kilograms, for which CV equals 0 0.72 or CP equals 1.0. So that's a little bit tricky. I think this is part over here to confuse you. But what is a house? A house basically is in a system where the volume is constant. So what is constant here would be CV. Uh, the, actually, if you think about the pressure, what happens if you have a closed box and you decrease the uh, temperature? The pressure will decrease. And if you increase the temperature, the pressure will increase. So this is not a constant pressure. So you need to use over here the CV. Okay? All right. So again, these problems are not difficult, but you need to be careful about uh, not making any minor mistake on any figure, okay, or the understanding. So this figure should help you a little bit, okay? All right, so let's get started. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay. So let's look at what is the general form of a refrigeration cycle. So we have seen on the notes that a refrigeration cycle we do what? So one, obviously you need to provide work or power. Then you'll be working between generally a cold reservoir. So this is too cold. And a hot reservoir, it would be too hot. Okay. We know the coefficient of performance to be equal to 2.8. So here what happens, what happens when you go from the cold, from here, you know the cold provides a change in temperature of what, 35, and what's 35 to 20 degrees Celsius. So basically the amount of cold that is put into the system to have that change in temperature would be equal to what? So it should be equal to the amount of air. We say we need to use seeds of V and now delta T. So this should be equal to what? 800 kilograms times 0 0.72 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin times 35 minus 1. If you do this calculation, the amount of cold that need to be to put into the house is 8,640 kilojoules. Okay, so this is the amount of cold that we need to put into the house. All right. Next, we know that what is the coefficient of performance. If you remember, we always say, what are, what are you trying to, to achieve? Is but cold, what do you need to provide work or power? So in this case, the work or power should be equal to what? You see, always coefficient of performance, which is equal to 8,640 divided by 2.8. So the amount of work, okay, that we need to provide is 
3085.714 kilojoules. So they ask us to find what is the power. So what is power? What is by definition power? Power by definition is work per time. So in this case, the work is given over here, and we know it's for 30 minutes. So the power, okay, this is per unit time, means dw dt will be equal to what? 3085.714 kilojoules divided by 30 minutes. Okay, and then we know that what? One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So this will give us if you do the calculation that gives you one point seventy one kilojoules per second, which is kilowatts. So this is the final answer for this problem. Okay, thank you for your attention.